Hello YouTube world, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. I am into another project today. So I'm working on a water harvesting project and I, I wasn't quite sure what to do about a pump. So I have done gravity pressure systems before. I have done full on very expensive water pump systems before. What I've not done and what was requested of me was to come up with an inexpensive solution that is a pump, can pump uphill 15 foot will shut itself on and off at, with, uh, from a garden hose. So when you're watering, it comes on. When you're not watering, it goes off. And there's immediate pressure there to provide a mist irrigation system. So I didn't know what to come up with. So I posted out on, let's see, I did two different Facebook groups. I did homesteading and I did regenerative agriculture. And I had several people come back and suggest this pump to me right here. This is a SureFlow, let me get the model number right here. It is a SureFlow Revolution 4008. And it runs off, oh, and one of the other requirements is that we run off of AC. A lot of these pumps run off of 12 volts DC. So this one runs off of AC. It is not designed to be left out in the weather, so it will have to be covered. It also comes with wires that are left in the open there like that. In looking at it online, I thought these connectors right here would be hose connectors. Well, when I received it, it was obvious that they're not. So, and nothing in the documentation says what size they are. So I had to go to the hardware store and figure that out. It appears to be uh, half inch PVC fittings that go on here. So uh, I say it appears because it does go on there, but it, there's a lot of different threads and stuff. So I'll know that. I'll put some plumber's tape on it. Uh, that's kind of slang there. That's not the exact name for it, but I'll show you as I'm doing it. Put some tape on here, put this on. The plan is just for uh, product demonstration purposes, is you can see there's holes right here. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on a piece of two by six or two by eight, whatever wood I can find laying around here mount this i will go ahead and i had to get a three-way plug here that has the wires hanging off so i'll go ahead and solder those on and wire it up uh, because i'm working with wiring and a water pump and around water make sure that you're going into a ground fault outlet which i do have so on one side on my input side i'm going to again i'll connect this up i will connect half inch pvc to a 90 degree elbow. The 90 degree elbow will uh, have PVC coming into it and then PVC going down and basically I'll suck water right out of my fish pond. Uh, again, this is just for demo purposes. And then on the other side, the egress side, again, I will have the screw attached to a uh, PVC pipe. I will connect the pipe up. I have a union here and then I have a half inch that will go into the other side of the union and this piece right here is a hose connector and then I can turn that on and off. This is not the quality of something I would use uh, for a permanent installation, but it will be good for the test and demo purposes here. Okay, one thing I wanna point out before I go ahead and screw this on is right here there is an arrow. I hope you can see this on the video. The arrow points in a direction, that is the water flow direction. So I'm gonna have input on this side right here and my output on this side right here. So that's very important when you're connecting stuff up like I am here. So just wanted to point that out. First one here, now I have three. I taped them up individually. And what I'm gonna do now is just tape the three of these together. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably just uh, tin the, tin means uh, putting solder on the tip of the, let's see, it would be the motor side. And I would go ahead and use a wire nut to connect the, these together because it's just so difficult out here to join two pieces together in this extremely cold, well, not extremely cold, extremely cold for solder weather. Okay, so that takes care of that. I mounted, I found this piece of wood. I went ahead and mounted the motor on there. I just put some uh, drywall screws in there. Again, just for temporary purposes, that'll work fine. This is my output side. And this is what I, I referred to earlier as plumber's tape. So go in the direction that you're going to be screwing on. And you don't want to actually get in the way here of water flow and you kind of pull it tight well I did it a little bit more than I wanted and what that'll do is just kind of fill in 
in between the threads here. Just tighten it down. And then once it gets tight enough, ah, not big enough. Okay, I have another wrench inside. I will tighten that down. I'll do the same for this side over here. Uh, then I'm going to glue, and I got all my pieces cut here, and I just used a hacksaw right here to cut them. Uh, I measured out the size I want. Again, I'm not being precise here because this is just for test purposes. So it, also on my input side, so to suck it out of the pond, I'm not going to glue that side. That should be good. I hope. It's a self-priming pump and I should be able to push that tight enough. On this side with 50 PSI, I don't want anything blowing off, so I will be gluing that side. So what I'm going to do is I have some primer here and I am going to go, let me see if I can show that, go around both sides here and what that does is it removes any dirt, grime, anything else and I'll do that on both sides. So I'll do it on the inside here and I'll do it on this side and then I'll come back and put some glue on and push the pieces together and that's what glues it. So I'll do that offline. So on the pressure side, which is gonna be the, from this connector to this piece and this on the end, I'm gonna glue each one of these pieces because I'm gonna have 50 PSI there. Everything else should be good to go. So let me go ahead and put this together and I'll run out by the pond and we'll give it a test drive. Okay, we are all set up here. I have this end in the water. I am coming up to the pump. I have the electric just sitting right there. I will plug it in right here. This is a ground fault outlet. And I have this connector right here. Connect up to the hose. It is open and it comes around into a, it's about a 60 or 65 foot hose now. It was larger, but I ended up having to cut it due to a hole. And I have the end here opened up so in theory it should prime itself and I should have water coming out of this end here uh, and then once I shut this valve off here I should build up pressure in the hose up to 50 psi and once I hit that the motor should shut off and then when I turn it back on I should have instantaneous pressure shooting out and once it hits goes below a certain level the motor will kick back on and build, keep the pressure up so that is our test here. Uh, once again, I just want to reiterate that this is not how you do an installation of this. This is simply for a product review on this pump. So uh, the electric here should actually be in a house. Everything should be weatherized. So this is just to, we are demonstrating how to do a pump here or how to, uh, how this pump works. So do not do this at home. <laughs> so let me go ahead and set this up on the tripod and then we'll give it a test. Okay, we're gonna give it a test here. I hear water flowing. It's coming. And there it is. So shut it off. Pump is running. I hear pressure building and it shut off. Let's see how much we got here. I have to say I'm kind of impressed. Building pressure, it shut off again. Back on. So, I'm kind of impressed with what it did. It did exactly what it said it would do. It was self-priming, it pulled the water up, it built up. Again, I didn't measure the PSI, but for our purposes of using a hose and using a mist irrigation system, it would be enough for the instant on for 10 seconds for a mist irrigation system. It would be enough for watering plants. Uh, considering it's the hose is three quarter inch and the uh, motor itself is half inch, I'm very impressed with the amount of water that it puts out. So 
for $93 from Amazon Prime and free shipping, and then I put maybe $10 into the other hardware here. Uh, again, this was just for demo purposes, but I would use kind of similar hardware for a permanent fixture. I would use some other uh, safety mechanisms and some stuff to wind, uh, weatherize it. But overall, uh, I am very impressed with this. So this is the Shure, Shure Flow 4008. Check out the show notes. I'll give you the exact part number that this is. But all in all, I would have to say I would have to give this a buy recommendation. And uh, this is what I will be recommending to my customer for their particular application with their water harvesting setup. So thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and check out our blog post on greatescapefarms.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.